Hello and welcome. My name is Kyle Fabian and welcome back to another Call of Duty video here on the channel. Today we are back with another episode of my Race to Master Prestige Season 1 here on Black Ops 6. Now, in this video, we are go going to be using the new Call of Duty Endowment Pack within within these games. Probably the two or three games of this video, we will be using them. So this bundle is $20. $20 and it goes directly, of course, to the Call of Duty Endowment, which is a organization that helps veterans. So it's very, very cool and an awesome thing that I always try and support every single year. And I usually cover it every single year if I choose to buy it. And this is what the pack comes with. So it comes with the uh, SCI skin for Pain, the operator, which is very, very cool looking. And then over here in the barracks, we have a calling card and a emblem that I think I can just show you guys yeah right here we have it comes with this calling card and this emblem all animated which is very very sweet but most importantly the weapons it comes with two blueprints it comes with the seaworthy strength blueprint for the uh, this is the aims 85 which honestly looks very very cool it's nice and animated and I think it looks awesome it comes with suppressor long barrel launcher a grenade launcher, and then the balance stock and the steady aim laser. And then we also have the ghostly ghillie, I think is how you say that, blueprint for the sniper, which we are going to be using in this video as well. So uh, again, I usually do three to four games in this video, so I may push this to four, but if not, we'll be using the AR for two, and then we'll be using the sniper for the last one. But anyways, hopefully you guys are to enjoy this next episode, and I'll see you guys all in the three to four games of the video. All right, guys, welcome into game number one. We are playing some kill confirmed here on the map. Payback, hopefully we can do well. Which this, this looks like the safe house from the campaign. Oh no, get out of here. Oh, we died. Well, I wonder what happens in the campaign that makes it so that this happens. Ooh, wow, we got two guys, let's go. I wonder what happens in the campaign that makes it so all those guys die. Beautiful. There's another guy down. Now, this blueprint actually looks really cool. I'm not even going to lie. Like, I know that I'm on the PC and, like, things will just look better on the PC in general. But this thing looks really cool. Oh. Yeah, I hope, I hope that you guys have been enjoying all of my launch videos up to this point. I know that launch is pretty crazy. I know I haven't been able to upload as much as I have in the past, but nonetheless, I've had a really good time playing Black Ops 6. I think it is a pretty solid Call of Duty game. Okay. I tried the noob tube and I don't that wasn't the that wasn't the move. Yeah, this is also the start of my the beginning of my blueprint review series coming back. When bundles start coming into this game, I'll be doing blueprint review videos again. As long as I enjoy the game, and usually we I have until season one before bundles start coming out, and so I can really decide from there if I enjoy this game enough to do a blueprint review series where I spend money on actual bundles of the game, but so far, not doing too bad here with this weapon. Whoa, <laughs> okay. Not sure what those guys are doing right there. Okay. Nice try, buddy. I don't think so. Oh, that was almost disgusting. How much health did he have? I don't know. He was definitely weak. He was definitely very weak. I'm dead. I'm just going to put my controller down. Yup. 
That's unfortunate. Really? Hmm, that, that weapon seems to be pretty good. I mean, if I'm not going to stand a chance in a gunfight, then it really must be good. Oh my gosh. No way, what? That's a, great, that's a great spawn. You know, I love the spawns in Black Ops 6. That's my favorite part about this game. I love, absolutely love spawning into death. It's my favorite thing. Oh my goodness. That weapon's crazy. Hey, look at that, another bad spawn. No. Jeez. Again, as I mentioned in the last episode, I need extended mags on like all of my classes. And tack mask. Jeez, this is annoying. I genuinely, I can't stand getting flashed and stunned in Call of Duty. Well, guys, this has not been a very good game. I apologize, but then again, like, I'm not really that upset about it because, frankly, when you have enough bad spawn deaths, you know, it's pretty impossible to do well. Like, I'm just saying. Like, how many times have we died, like, taking two steps out of our spawn? It's been a bunch. At least we're positive, right? At least we're positive. Well, guys, that was a really rough first game. Um, we're just going to move right on to game number two. I'll see you guys there. All right, guys, welcome into game number two. Now, I did adjust the blueprint a little bit. Since this isn't a formal blueprint review episode, I don't feel guilty or feel bad about changing attachments. When I do my blueprint review series, though, I never change any attachments. But I figured I would change, just because this isn't a formal blueprint review episode, changing the attachments, there's no problems with that. At least, in my opinion, so... Um, I decided that the noob tube really wasn't worth using at all. So, and also I'm just not a giant fan of the iron sights, so. We're losing alpha. Be secure. I was like, I'm just, oh, nice. We got two people with that frat. And then we're going to die. Yeah, of course. It's really hard to get on high kill streaks in this game, I've noticed. Like, I've seen some people do it, but. Me, I have not. I have been struggling myself to go on high kill streaks. Losing B. Uh oh, another getting flashed again. Nice. But I feel like once I get used to this game, once I get used to this game a little bit, I think I'll, st I'll obviously get better at it. It just takes some time. That's the biggest thing for me. Is avoiding burnout. <laughs> like, and just getting used to the game, learning it. Like, that's kind of... How does he know I'm just there? I want to see this kill cam. I genuinely am curious. Hmm. Oh, guess he just Attack off. Requesting recon overhead. Just did a good job at standing there waiting for me to walk by, I guess. We're losing Charlie. Attack off. Ray requesting CUAB. No! Oh my goodness, come on. I would love to go on a Bloodthirsty. I don't think I've been on a Bloodthirsty in, like, a couple days. On this game. One kill, one death. Pretty normal.
Just wait though. Once we have stims, we'll be playing so much better. Losing A. Losing B. I swear, stims help me so much. Oh, let's go. Run. I'm so dead. I tried to anticipate, but it did not. Did not go so well. Because I heard him, but I just, yeah. Oh, nice. That was a nice kill. Right there. Yeah, that, that was nice. Yeah, this blueprint's pretty good. And the only reason I took that... Grenade launcher off is I just don't see the point. Wow. I got wrecked. Fair enough. Fair enough. Skill based matchmaking? It's crazy. Oh my gosh, come on. Let's go. It's so hard to do well in this game. Are you guys having the same problem as I am with doing well? Because I am having a whole bunch of problems doing well in this game right now. Okay, he got a headshot. That's fair enough. The slow reload is the death of me, man. Oh my gosh. Like, you either... Like, I think I will have... Genuinely, I'm probably gonna have fast mags or an extended... Well, I'll either have extended fast mags or just extended mags. Like, you just... This game is a very much... You don't... I mean, it's just almost too fast-paced. It's almost too fast-paced. I never thought I would say that, but... Like, it is almost too fast of a game. Or maybe I just need to reload after every kill. Because... I feel like if you're not reloading... Then you're just screwing yourself over. Well, guys, I I mean, this game is pretty much standard for how we've been doing this entire series. It's not like this is a game that's worse or better. I mean, we're hovering right around a mid-1 KD. But I promise you guys, we will get better at this game. Don't even worry. Taking B. Nope. Shoot. Like I get stims, I get some, I get some better attachments, and we're gonna be, we're gonna be doing better. Don't worry. Don't worry, guys. I promise. Charlie. 
We're ahead, but stay alert. Marshal people are no fools. Oh my goodness. Losing B. And there we go. 36 and 21. Again, not terrible. Got a 1.71 KD. But, I mean, and if we also just look at the lobby itself. 48 and 21. That guy had a really good game. 33 and 25. 36 and 21. Me. Then 20 and 22. Then 22 and 32. On the other team, same thing. Nobody was above a 2 KD in this lobby. Except for one guy. So, we're not doing too bad. We're not doing too bad. Don't need to stress about anything. Um, but anyway, guys, I will see you all in our final game of the video. All right, guys. Welcome into our final game of the video. We are playing some kill confirmed here on the map. Wow. Here on the map for Cuda. Hopefully we can do well. Now I've tried. Now I've kind of broken my rules of this series a little bit in this video. I have backed out of like two or three games because apparently using a sniper means I'm not gonna do good. So like hor like horribly negative. So I'm gonna use the sniper for a little bit, see if maybe I can get some momentum going, and then I'll if I can't, then I'll switch to the other blueprint. I just wanna I just wanna showcase the sniper a little bit for you guys. Give it a go. But look, man, look at the ranks. See, when I tell you that skill-based matchmaking comes for me like crazy, I mean it. Like, look, I am the lowest second lowest rank in this lobby, or third lowest rank in the lobby. Look at the other team. They're all pretty close to like level 50. Where did you come from? Oh. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I, I can't do it. I'm gonna get one more sniper kill and I'm done. Here's the blueprint. Here's what it looks like. Um, if you guys are good snipers, congratulations. That is amazing because I can't physically snipe in this game. Like, I, I can't physically snipe in this game. It's impossible. If I do, I just, I don't, I do so badly. It's not, it's just, I, I have no fun. Enemy CUAV inbound. At least with an automatic, like, with an AR and SMG, I can actually sort of do well, but sniping is incredibly tough in this game. And, I mean, I hope that those of you who play this game, that you're having a really good time and you're doing well, but I, me personally, I, I have yet, since that first episode, I have not gotten into KD game. I will get better. I will, as I mentioned in gameplay number one of this video, I will get better. I just need to get get used to this game a little more. He snuck from behind. shoot but then again my skill based matchmaking brackets are very high like if you look at my stats from other call of duty games in the skill based matchmaking era I'm in the top 5% of players 
as far as accuracy and that type of stuff goes. So my lobbies are going to be very competitive. It's just the reality. But I do get better at every Call of Duty game the more I play it. So like, even though I might be struggling to get super, super awesome gameplay right now in this game, A month or two from now, <coughs> pardon me, a month or two from now, I'll be getting a lot better gameplay for you guys, I hope. That's why I'm actually not going to do a heavy camo grind until I get to Master Prestige. So I can actually get good at the game, learn the game, figure it out, and then, then I can start going for camos. Why did my character do that? I was trying to slide. Oh my goodness. I did not want a dolphin dive. I wanted to slide. Jeez. I can't even see. This game is starting to become really unfun to me. Not because of anything besides the simple fact that... I, I just want to see the skill cam. How can you see me? Why is this am amazing? Amazing. I can't back out. It's against the rules of the series. This game has been absolutely no fun. <laughs> On a scale of 1 to 10 in my fun factor, this has been a solid 0. Please frickin' die, man. Holy crap. Wow, I actually got a double kill? Amazing, I can't believe it. Can we go positive? Hostile UAV established overhead. shots no please don't die who's shooting me oh my gosh wow <coughs> okay guys well I'm starting to not really have fun anymore <laughs> playing this game unfortunately I just and it's because I'm doing bad, I know, but at the same time, this game doesn't allow you to do well. The maps just have no flow. Like, you can't... You can't control spawns, you can't... I, I just have a really hard time with this game. I just need to be patient. I just need to be patient. It's okay to do bad. The game's only been out for three days. And I barely played the beta. So I just... I need to stop not being so critical of my gameplay it's just will take time and luckily thank goodness though i'm only eight levels away from unlocking stims because stims are going to make this game a lot more fun for me being able to get into a gunfight quickly heal and then get back into another one this game it needs it now more than ever like this game is so insanely fast paced that you just need extended mags and you need stim and once i get those on all of my classes and we're gonna start having a lot more fun i have a feeling but that is a look at the Call of Duty Endowment Bundle here within Black Ops 6. Really, really like both of the blueprints. I mean, I wish sniping 
The sniper blueprint is good. I did get a decent gameplay with it in one of the previous game or previous games of this video, but then the gameplay went really downhill and I backed out, which meant that I can't show the game in the video. But the sniper blueprint I think would be pretty good, but I really do like this AR blueprint quite a bit, actually. I think it's pretty pretty awesome, actually. The only thing I'd probably switch out is probably throw on extended mags or a flip mag. And I mean I might even do that right now. And then allow myself to use it a little bit more. in the next episode and hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did enjoy it, a like rating is always appreciated if you want to check out any of my other previous episodes you can feel free to check that out them out link down below in the playlist in the description as well as they will also be at the end of the video for you guys to check out as well and i will see you all on another call of duty video very very soon